everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to start honeydew melon seedlings, okay? So what I have here is, you know, I've got some trail mix and stuff in some bulk little boxes, right? Plastic containers. And now that we're done with them, you're going to throw them out or recycle them, right? So what I like to do is I like to use these smaller ones for things of this nature that I'm not planting in bulk. I'm not going to plant a whole bunch of honeydew melons. If I get a couple, I'm going to be happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start them in this nice little tiny one, okay? It's almost time outside to get things into the ground. So I just want to get them started, right? All right, so I have some nice potting soil here mixed up with a little bit of my soil from my own garden outside. And it's about evenly dispersed. And I'm just going to put it inside of my container and I'm going to just loosely pack it, okay? so it has a little bit of substance here. Now, melons have a lot of rejuvenating qualities. They're really tasty. They're really refreshing in the summer. And this is what they look like. And the inside flesh is the green one. It's not the um, peach looking one. That's a cantaloupe. This is a honeydew melon, okay? So what I did was we always buy honeydews. And instead of buying seeds, I just took the seeds out and dried them. And they're in this little strainer ready to go for today. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna make a couple lines here. I'm just gonna make a couple rows with a, with a knife just so I can kind of plan things out. I'm gonna make probably three rows here. The other seedlings we started, boy, do they look bit great. They're in our back hallway and they are soaking up the sun and they are very happy. They're big too, we're ready to put them in the ground, a whole bunch of different kinds. Make sure you check out those other um, shows, how to start bean seedlings, how to start sunflowers, how to start all kinds of stuff, okay? Check my shows out. Now I'm going to take a couple seeds and I'm just going to put them in, make sure that I can cover them up. I'm only going to put them a couple, couple inches apart from each other because this is just the seedling tray. This is not how they're going to stay when they're outside in the ground, right? We're going to do this, we're going to get them started, and then when we take them outside, we're going to plant them appropriately. Now I'm just going to cover them up in that little trench and I'm going to repeat. Now, if you wanted to do a tray of half and half cantaloupe and honeydew and you don't really care which, what's what, and it comes up, you're really happy, right? Another great option for these seedling trays is your used orange juice containers or juice containers in the carton. What you do is you turn it on its side and you cut one, um, the one side off of it at the top and you can use that because they're waterproof to, for your seedling tray. Then it has that handy dandy little, how it folds at the top when you use a, a juice container. Um, you can use that to hold your seed packet if you bought a packet. All right, so these are now just covered up. These ones are gonna go into an envelope in the dark and they're gonna be stored for next year or another time or for other people that are my friends that want some seeds and don't have them, okay? And now I'm going to just wet this um, seedling tray now I would typically use a spray bottle, but I broke the one I used with water this morning. So that's okay, we can go old school and we're just gonna pour it in, but we're gonna be very, very careful. I'm gonna start around the edges because you don't wanna um, unearth the seeds that you just put in there. You wanna be very gentle with the water. You don't wanna completely soak this thing, but you do need to get the soil moist. Now, you don't wanna let this soil get dry at all. As soon as you see that it's getting dry or it's starting to crack, you need to get some more moisture in here. I suggest using the spritz bottle, especially when the seedlings are new. And I think that that will soak through and be pretty good. I don't wanna over soak it because it will get moldy in here and that's not what I want. Now, all I need to do is put a nice little toothpick with a sign on it that says honeydew and I'm good to go. That's, that's pretty much it. Once they get to be a couple inches high, they're ready to go in the ground or whenever your um, weather permits, it's all good. So that's how you do it. That's what it looks like. And uh, make sure you tune into more shows on how to start your seedlings. It's that simple, guys. You can grow your own food, okay? It's much more inexpensive. You can ensure that it's organic. And you know, you took care in creating the food that you put into your body. You're taking more responsibility for your health and for yourself. All right, so these are gonna go into some nice sunshine. I don't want it to be in a windy, cold area. I'm gonna leave it in this windowsill somewhere and just make sure it doesn't get too dry. You'll be fine, all right? So we'll see how these go. I can't wait because we have other beautiful squashes and melons that we're putting in the ground this year. Can't wait. All right, that's it, that's all. 
Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E, or you can check me out at Web Chef Kimberly for Web Chef of All Trades information. And my shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. Connect with me on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and my site is CookingWithKimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.